Yes! I'm in Slovenia! Yes! Holy moly! I got a strong headwind! The last 30 k's were terrible always on busy really busy roads so not my cycling at all but now i'm on a quieter section still have to deal with a quite heavy headwind ah 32 k's to go i just had a coffee in the last bigger town and finally i got some wi-fi i had some internet connection so i could book a room So, 10 k's to go into Trieste. I'm uh, on a nice downhill. It's into the city. It's very steady. Goes it a little bit down. Uh, traffic is okay. Most of the time there is a little shoulder on the right. Not always, but it's fine. It's fine. And I saw the sea, I saw the sea. Woo! I'm so happy being on the sea. Again, again. Yoo
Alrighty, meanwhile, that's no surprise anymore. Leaving the yes, of course, <coughs> is on a cycle path. What else? <laughs> I'm just on the way to Piran. I'm making a day loop. By the way, I'm greeting you with a lot of sunshine, with very nice temperature around 26, 27 degrees. I did some <laughs> decent climbs, short but steep. Uh, to get out of the est is quite a bit of hard work. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on a path. I'm on a path again. It is good. All good. I'm in Slovenia! There are no borders! <laughs> so, but the number plates on the car shows oh, I'm in Slovenia. And the writing, the signs are... <laughs> eh, I can't hardly read it! <laughs> yeah, but they got a cycle path! You won't believe! Of course, it's next to the highway. Not that nice, but... I don't want to complain. No. I'm safe here. That's a roundabout for cyclists. <laughs> so far, the car drivers are very friendly. They give me way on a crossroad. They let me pass, so good impression, first impression, very good. I say, <laughs> it's the perfect infrastructure. Hey, that's the way it should be. Everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> Can you believe it? There's no car, only pedestrians and cyclists <laughs> along the coast. <laughs> so nice. Oh, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> so great.
Good morning on day 11. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I just had a very, very steep climb. <coughs> One of the steepest since a long time. <coughs> it was short, maybe. <coughs> about one kilometer but oh, I tell you I had to push there were sections they were so steep I couldn't I couldn't ride it even in my granny gear <laughs> ah, but uh, it, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the way out of TS then <coughs> I'm heading I'm heading towards Ljubljana uh, which is about 95 k's from here but it will be the most hilly uh, part of my trip so far. I got about 1500 meters to climb which is fairly enough I would say. Huh? Um, but the weather is good. I have to deal with a quite a strong headwind coming from the east, northeast, but uh, I will see how it is. Oh, with that mountain range, <laughs> I have to come somewhere, somehow, <laughs> somewhere and somehow, yeah. No way. Even my lowest gear are not low enough. It's so steep. It's so steep. Ah, you, <laughs> you can't see it on the screen, but I tell you, it's steep. And if I have to push the bike, that means it's steep. <laughs> Okay, let's walk for a bit. <coughs> Holy moly, I'm holy slowly. This is tough going. Oi, oi, oi. Downhill. It seems I just reached the first ridge. <laughs> reached the first ridge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will see. Wow, wow, wow.
this sucks. Oh, it's so steep and the path is actually not suitable for my touring bike. It's, <laughs> it will be good for bike packing, but with my heavy loaded touring bike, this is not fun at all. I should stick at the asphalt road. That would be better. I mean, it's very remote here. It's very silent. It's nice in the forest, but it's hard going, I tell you. I, huh, and don't make any progress. Oh, <laughs> hui. Very hard going. I don't know what to do. I can't ride on here. It's, it's really frustrating. I'm just checking the map and I have to make a detour, but this is not suitable for my bicycle. This is not even suitable for a bike packing. This is just for mountain biking, whatever. I don't know, Kamut, that's not the way for a, a loaded bicycle. No touring bicycles on that path. All right. It's, it's getting worse. I'm waiting, now I also have to cross the creek. Ah, anyway. Ha! It takes all of me today. That's for sure. Oh, back on asphalt. I rather cope with some traffic than with this rocky path. I, it doesn't work for me. I mean, it's not possible. With a touring bike, that small tires and so heavy loaded, you can't ride one of these trails. No way. So. I'd rather stick on asphalt. Will be a temptation. Oh, oh still got 50 k's to go to Ljubljana. Well, I'm quite exhausted. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. What a day! I'm a nine k's out of Ljubljana, so it was tough going today, mainly because of the hell wind. The wind was really strong all day long. Wow! Yeah, but I made it. I made it. And I'm always amazed uh, about the energy I can release if it if it's necessary. Yeah, it's uh, done a lot of climbing as well, about 
1,500 elevation meters. But that's that's okay. So now I have no clue where to stay. Um, my plan is just riding into the city. There's probably a tourist information, and uh, I will check out if they will find a place for me to stay. I made it. I made it. I'm in the center of Ljubljana now. Wow. Wow, what a beautiful city! I hope I can stay one day. Just not making a rest day tomorrow. Beautiful! I would like to explore it. Good morning, I'm greeting you on a another sunny, lovely day. It's the it's day 13 today, Friday, and I'm just riding out of Ljubljana. I stayed here two nights. A very very nice city. Oh I loved it. I could stay longer here, such a nice place. Uh, I found a good place to sleep. Oh, yeah, you heard that before. And now I'm on the way to Granskjadora. This is a quite a famous skiing station in the mountains, very close to Austria. So, uh, I'm having a quite a hilly a hilly uh, stage in front of me that's why I'm here for so I decided to make a a, a loop around uh, around the Slovenian mountains just for two days I will come back tomorrow night to Ljubljana going to stay one night more here and then I'm heading to the coast back to the coast towards Croatia uh, yeah all good so far I did enjoy Ljubljana I do enjoy Slovenia it's different it's different to Italy it reminds me a bit to Poland yeah Ljubljana has a kind of a, a charm like Krakow in in Poland it's a it's a city full of students it has a lot of cafes uh, a nice pedestrian zone 
yeah good place good place to be righty I'm pedaling very, very easy along an absolute quiet road. Ah, it reminds me to Switzerland. It could be in Switzerland here. It's so similar. I see mountains, fields, villages. Not even one cloud in the sky. Perfect weather for cycling. <laughs> oh, it's good to be here. I think Slovenia got a, quite a decent network of cycle routes as well. There is a route from Ljubljana to Granske Gora, which I follow now. And uh, it is sometimes on cycle paths, but mainly I would say it's on it's on the road like that, with minor roads, with little traffic on it. Very scenic, I would say. Uh, so far, what I noticed here in Slovenia, it's quite a developed country, I would say. According to their cars they drive, they're quite, quite modern cars. But, compared to Italy, the people are more reserved. They are not as open as the Italians. The Italians, they greet all of them. They say ciao when I pass them or when I cross them. Here, the people are much more reserved. I wouldn't say they are not friendly. They are friendly, but they are maybe a bit more shy or they are not used to it, to greet each other, even strangers. And the other thing is water supply. It's not that easy to find drinking water. Like in Italy, in Italy, every town, every settlement had a fountain. They mostly work. But here there are no, no fountains. So far I didn't see it. So. Uh, yeah, either I have to ask people or I go and buy. I hate motorbikes. I have to say, I hate them. They just made a lot of noise. They are dangerous. Ah. But anyway, 
they got their ride as well I know I know so I I'm enjoying once more nice cycling today the wind is no issue I even got a, a soft breeze tickling my back I would say yeah it's not bad Hello, nice baby cow. Hello. <clears throat> it looks like I'm back in Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. I left Bled um, about 20 k's ago since Bled that's that's quite a bigger town between Ljubljana and Granski Agora since Bled since 20 k's the road is jammed there's actually just one long traffic jam crazy 20 k's one car follows the other car no space in between my I'm faster on my bike that's for sure I just don't get it it is so nice sitting on a bicycle being outside get out there grab your bike do some exercise don't pollute the air just breathe it fresh air so that's my mantra for today <laughs> ah. the mantra of a happy cyclist <laughs> What a pity, it's closed. I would like to have a coffee here. Cycle pass between 
Bled and Kranzjagora. There is a, a very nice cycle path. And look at that. They got the repair station here as well, like I had it somewhere in Italy. It's great. What a nice infrastructure. Not an Himalayan expedition. I just slept close to the river and it was quite cold towards the morning. So I had a lovely night. Although the motorbikes, the Harleys, the Harleys, they were on the road till about 9 or 10 o'clock in the evening what a stupid vehicle hey how can you allow such an engine that makes so noise ah but I had a good night's sleep woke up several times just had to pee <laughs> yeah now I'm starting today Good morning, so nice start into the day, uh, another sunny day, I'm heading back to Ljubljana, I booked a room there where I slept before and uh, from there on I'm going back to the coast, uh, but now I'm, I do enjoy once more the lovely ride on the lovely bicycle path.
This is Crani. Quite a nice place.